Okay, um, in this video, I'm just going to give you a quick uh, introduction to the uh, entire tidyverse. I know you've seen a fair bit of it already, but um, I just want to walk through a few of the other uh, things going on. So, um, if you go to tidyverse.org, you'll get to the page that I'm uh, walking through. And um, we've used this page a couple times before just to get um, help with things, um, but it actually is a very nice resource for you to have access to later. Um, okay, so the core of Tidyverse has uh, these six packages embedded in it. So dpyr, ggplot, and tidyr we spend a pretty fair bit of time uh, working with. Readr is actually what's built inside of the RStudio import tool. Any of the commands that have underline are actually using Readr. Tibble is um, the kind of fancy version of a data frame, and um, we've used that just a little bit. Per, um, there's one last video here in this last week that's going to uh, talk about some of the things you can do um, with per. Anyway, um, for the most part, you've had a pretty good introduction to um, the tidyverse here. Um, and when I taught the class in, this, in the regular semester, someone pointed out that it rhymes with spideyverse, which I'm sure is maybe not an accident. Um, although Tidyverse would be old enough, it would mean that Hadley Wickham is a um, fan of the comics. And so I mentioned Hadley Wickham. Um, he's sort of the coder. Um, he works for our studio, which is the front end, right? So our studio is that interface. Down in the corner is real R, the script window, the file and plot window, and the environment window are all part of that R studio. And anyway, Hadley Wickham works for them, um, working on these various uh, parts. Anyway, if we click on packages, it'll take us to the full list of the packages we have um, gone through. And again, these six are sort of the core of Tidyverse. Um, there's two more that are built in, string R and four cats. Um, string R is for strings and four cats are for factors. Um, and we mentioned Hadley Wickham likes cats, but um, so factors and categorical variables are equivalent terms, right? Categorical is what we call them in statistics, factors what you call them in computer science. Um, and then there are a few other packages that, again, I'm just going to walk through real quickly. Um, ReadXL and Haven are for specific kinds of data. ReadXL in particular um, works for Excel files. The Google Drive package works if you try to get something from Google Drive. Again, those are built into that import data tool, but there are commands if you wanted to kind of raw do them. Um, more what I tend to do is I use the import tool but then when you copy and paste, you'll notice that it's using these packages instead of um, just read R. And there are several others for other kinds of databases. Um, and again, we didn't talk about databases much. Um, one I do want to mention is Luberdate. Luberdate is specifically for time and dates. And um, again, it gets loaded in automatically, so you probably have it on your computer already. Um, but it's great for doing um, date arithmetic. So if you wanted to see how old you were, you could take today's date minus your birthday and it would work out, you know, leap years and how many days are in each month and all that kind of thing. Um, and what's great about it is it has this nice command called um, DMY or YMD. So whatever format your data is in, your date is in, um, Luberdate puts it into the general date format. Right down here, this is the date format that computers actually like, year, month, day, hour, minute, second, and using 24-hour um, dates. So that's what's happening on the inside. So the question is just how can you quickly get dates that are in other formats into that format or work them back and forth? And so LibreData is great for that. Um, it has a bunch of other features like it'll automatically change for time zones um, and a whole bunch of stuff like that. So anyway, LibreData isn't very useful until it's exactly the most useful thing you could possibly imagine. <coughs> so. Um, that's one I will mention it has a cheat sheet just like the other ones do. And so, um, you know, if you did have to use that, you know, given the 10 seconds we've talked about it here, um, that cheat sheet will certainly help you uh, get used to using it more. Um, Blob is specifically for binary data. It's actually one of the newer packages, so I've only used it a little tiny bit. Um, and you can see that actually it's not um, in a published web page form. It's still um, on GitHub, which means that it's still code that's in process. Um, presumably down the road, that'll be fancier. Um, I should mention Magritte R is already working inside of Tidyverse. That's what makes the pipes work. Um, those of you who know art history, um, that's a very funny joke. 
is uh, right. Magritte is the one who made the um, art with the pipe. Um, treachery of images, it's called. But uh, right, this is not a pipe because it's an image of a pipe. Um, and so anyway, that becomes hilarious. But um, Magritte R is what does that. There's actually some other versions of pipe, like the two-way pipe that goes forwards and backwards and a couple other things. Um, and so anyway, um, like I said, we're not spending too long talking about this. This is just a um, quick article, a quick summary of it. Um, you can go to the articles to learn more about it. Um, and he, one of the things I do like is that he has, um, here he describes some packages that other people have written that build on the functionality of tidyverse. So if you are looking for some very specific things, um, remember the CRAN has, you know, 10,000 packages. So finding the ones um, that will work for you um, is really, you know, important. Um, so um, you can do that. And of course, those cheat sheets that you can get from our studio, I think are super duper helpful. So anyway, this is just a quick video about um, the tidyverse. Um, again, we haven't mastered it by any stretch, but certainly it makes um, our work a lot easier. In some cases, it makes it work much faster. So, okay, here we go.